Hello all, welcome to the fourth module. In the previous module, we saw how Wali was having her maiden bus ride. Now let's see what happens further. Wali was filled with happiness and joy. Suddenly, a cow came running in the middle of the road right in front of the bus. As the driver blew more horns, the cow became wild and kept on running faster and faster. Wally found the cow incident extremely humorous and laughed to the extent that brought tears to her eyes. Again, the conductor teased her by telling her that it was enough for the day and she should save some laughter for the next day. When the bus stopped at a level crossing, a train passed with a huge roar thus shaking the entire road and the bus along with it. The bus started moving and on taking a turn it reached a wider road. There were big and brightly lit shops on the road. Wally was attracted towards all the lights. She glanced at each and everything. Finally, when the bus arrived at its destination, the conductor informed her that this was the last stop. Just then, she took out another 30 paise from her pocket to buy a ticket back to village. She expressed that she only intended to take a bus ride and upon being asked to wander nearby, she told him that she was too afraid for that. The conductor asked her if she wished to have a drink, which she denied politely. Then, both of them waited for a new set of passengers to board. This time too, there were fewer passengers. Concerned about Wali, the conductor asked if her mother would be looking for her as she was all alone. Wali instantly replied by saying that no one was waiting for her. On her way back, she was looking at everything enthusiastically. Then suddenly, she noticed a cow lying dead by the roadside. Wally confirmed with the conductor that it was the same cow they had seen earlier. Thus, her mood experienced a shift towards sadness. She stopped looking out of the window and sat silently on her seat until she reached home. While getting down, she conveyed her intention of seeing the conductor again, to which the conductor replied in a sarcastic manner. He told her not to forget her fare the next time she intended to travel. And Wali went home. Wali found her mother awake from the afternoon nap when she returned home. Her mother was talking to one of her aunts who lived in the South Street. The aunt spoke so much that Wali called her a real chatterbox. It was difficult to make her stop talking. Wali took the benefit of the moment and avoided any conversation regarding where she had been. While her mother and aunt were conversing, she heard they were talking about the endless possibilities in the world one was unaware about. And even if one knew, it was another thing to understand it. Wally affirmed to what her mother was saying, leaving both of them astonished. She then justified her reaction by mentioning that she was casually agreeing to what her mother was saying. Her aunt then referred to Wally as a no-spoking child who acted like a grown-up lady. But only Wally knew what she was referring to because after all, no one knew about her bus journey. Story also tells us about how easily children get curious about things and how they will be fascinated. And until they experience something by their own, they will never end being curious. So I hope you all enjoyed this particular story and meet next time with another interesting story. So thank you.